Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee. Weather in five, five days and five minutes on this Sunday. And just a reminder, there is no Joe and Joe weather show today. Usually we're on at 11 a.m. Eastern time, uh, but we will be back tomorrow at our usual time, 7.30 p.m. Eastern. And uh, also, uh, just a heads up, the meteorologist Joe Chaffee weather app on which you can watch Weather in 5 and the Joe and Joe weather show is back working at 100% uh, capacity here. So I had some trouble with the home page and the video page for about eight weeks. But uh, after inserting a small code, they were able to fix it. And it's back working. So if you check it out, you can download it on Google Play or on the App Store, and it is free. Let's uh, start the day off by looking at the tropics and out in the tropical Atlantic. And one thing that is uh, rather obvious, if you notice the sort of hazy shading that you see out uh, in the tropical Atlantic and points northward, that is all Saharan dust, and it really covers a large portion of the Atlantic right now. Uh, there are some weak tropical waves running across the intertropical convergence zone. It's still pretty far to the south, hasn't really made its move northward yet. Uh, but with the, the dust and the uh, far south uh, position of that intertropical convergence zone, you can uh, rest assured that tropical storm development is not expected uh, for the next uh, five days, if not uh, maybe the next 10 days to two weeks usually don't like to go out that far in advance, but um, it, it, conditions are just not favorable and the upper air is just not favorable for tropical cyclone development. Meanwhile, as we uh, move through this Sunday, it's going to be a humid day. We had some scattered showers and thunderstorms yesterday uh, from a disturbance that's moved on out to the northeast, and now we have another uh, system coming in. This is a warm front, cold front combination. And I think we could wind up seeing some scattered showers and thunderstorms popping up today. There'll be a more numerous downpours tonight into tomorrow morning. And I think that the areas that are going to wind up getting some overnight downpours will probably be across Pennsylvania into northern New Jersey and up into Connecticut. Long Island and in New York City are on the edge and areas to the south are going to be out of that first round. And then later on in the day tomorrow... As the uh, cold front comes through, and I use that in quotes, by the way, because the air behind that cold front is not exactly cold, nor is it dry. It's hot. And uh, while the dew points might settle down ever so slightly, uh, the temperatures are going to be going up, and we are going to be in the 90s Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. The radar this morning as of 7 a.m. showing uh, some showers offshore. Little patch of showers and storms in southwest PA. And then as we go out to the west, you could see more numerous showers and thunderstorms from western Ohio through Indiana, Illinois, and Missouri. That is going to be moving eastward for later tonight and tomorrow morning. The Storm Prediction Center, marginal to slight risk from uh, Arkansas and Missouri, uh, southern Illinois and Indiana into Ohio, southwest PA into uh, the western half of Virginia and Maryland and then down into northern Tennessee. Now tomorrow, <laughs> excuse me, with that cold front approaching, we have a marginal risk of severe weather that SPC is now indicating for central and southern New England, not southeastern New England, uh, back down to uh, Long Island and New York City, south and west to Maryland and northeastern Virginia. We might add a little small area of slight risk to this before it's all said and done. Also looking at a slight risk up in northern North Dakota, north, northeastern Montana, northwestern Minnesota. And then as we move on into Tuesday into Wednesday, we have a slight risk in Wisconsin, southward into Illinois and Indiana. And that was, is with another cold front that will be arriving here in the northeast and mid-Atlantic states on Thursday. Now, outside of surprises with thunderstorms, which could always put down a quick inch or so of rain, most of the rainfall amounts uh, are across southern New York and southern New England down into Virginia and northern North Carolina are on the order of about a quarter to a half an inch. Uh, that starts to pick up as you go north, upstate New York, where they really could use it, Vermont and New Hampshire, looking at anywhere from an inch and a half to maybe two inches of rain over the next seven days. Uh, seeing the showers and storms with a half an inch to an inch and a quarter, inch and a half in patches from southwest PA down into northern 
uh, Mississippi, Alabama, and northwest Georgia. The southwest monsoon continues, so the rest of the country is pretty much on the quiet side. So uh, over the next uh, several days, uh, we are going to be dealing with hum uh, humidity and then heat coming in on Tuesday. And I've got the dew point map up here for you as we've got these dew points that are running on the high side. They'll be well up into the 60s to around 70 uh, today and again on Monday and again on Tuesday. And then as we move on into Tuesday, actually, the dew page points come down slightly that's why technically this front that's coming through is being is described as a cold front, uh, but the temperatures are a different story, and the humidity is going to shoot up uh, Wednesday and Thursday in particular as another front comes through, and then after that we might get some uh, a bit more of dew point relief starting next Friday and then lasting into at least the start of next weekend. So that is a plus. And if we uh, take a look at uh, some of the temperatures that we're forecasting here, let's just go to, we'll start off with Tuesday and take a look at the high temperatures. Uh, today and tomorrow, it's just going to be mostly uh, 80s inland and 70s along the coast. And then we move on to Tuesday, and Tuesday is going to have, uh, you can see it here, temperatures mostly in the lower 90s. Uh, some some of the cooler areas, quote unquote cooler, will be in the upper 80s. And then as we move on to Wednesday, we're going to see highs. I think Wednesday will probably be the the uh, hottest day this week uh, as uh, temperatures uh, head up uh, into the range of about 90 to 95, just about everywhere from southern and central New England down into uh, northeastern Virginia and uh, Maryland and Delaware and then Thursday as we are going to be ahead of a cold front uh, that day also we will see temperatures that are going to be let's put it again in a range of about 90 to maybe as high as 95 uh, before the next weather front comes through so uh, let's uh, take a look at the surface map and we'll play it for you here so again, to late this afternoon and this evening, it's really just another, there could be some scattered showers and thunderstorms that pop up, just like yesterday. Not all of you will see them. Then we get this uh, warm front that comes through overnight into tomorrow morning. The bulk of that goes north and to the north and west of the coast. A little more um, activity as you go through upstate New York and central and northern New England. Uh, we set up for some thunderstorms and maybe the chance for some, some isolated severe thunderstorms late tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow night. Then Tuesday, it's all about uh, west wind and high pressure and temperatures headed up uh, into the 90s for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Another cold front comes on through later Thursday with maybe a shower or a thunderstorm when that goes by. And then it's back to very warm, but I think slightly less humid conditions as we move through Friday and through next weekend. So there you have it, pretty much uh, the outlook for the next seven days. We are headed now into uh, what I would uh, describe as the peak of the summer season in terms of average high and low temperatures over the next two weeks. And then after we get past about August 5th, August 6th, those numbers start to go down. And then as we move beyond that, uh, you get it to September, that's when the normals go down steadily. Whether the atmosphere cooperates or not is another matter. All right. Have a great Sunday and uh, enjoy your day. Just keep an eye out for some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Uh, again, no Joe and Joe weather show today. We will be back tomorrow at 730 Eastern time.